immediately. Speaking of immediately, uh, our game one is immediate. We're it's actually immediately gonna be looking, starting. <laughs> we're gonna be looking at a Sora versus a Rob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zane's been really playing with Sora recently. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them play. Uh, I believe Peach is their usual main. I haven't even seen that Peach come out in a good while. But their Sora is nothing to laugh at. Even though Sora is a relatively new character, it's been like about a month since he came out. Zane has really been able to exploit a lot of Z uh, Sora's little combo starters and uh, backing up a lot of damage on their opponent. However, Dill is able to, of course, mention that hey, DLC doesn't do anything. Okay. I mean, 2021's, uh, you know, a crazy... Did that jab lock? Okay, I think that jab locked. Uh, Zane wasn't able to get too much out of it. But like I was saying, you know, 2021's a crazy crazy year for Smash. Uh, or a crazy time, because, you know, the information is just so... It, it spreads so quickly. So even a, such a new character like Sora is going to be seeing a lot of, uh, you know, tech theory crafting. Uh, so... We're going to be seeing that a uh, bit from Zane. Uh, barely even percentage right now. And very quick question on my part. I meant Duck Hunt, not Peach. Haha, <laughs> I'm really funny. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, both per both players, nothing to scoff at. Both have really high percentage. And that counter. Oh, surprise, no. did it, did it counter the gyro? Oh. <gasps> no, that's one of the rare times you will see Sora not be able to cover from under the stage. Wow. Yeah, uh, Zane accidentally uh, directional air dodged off stage. Yeah. Oh, Lupin? All right, now uh, Dill at ledge. We're going to see the double jump uh, yep. hitbox. Dill actually tried it, but Zane was ready for it that time with the dash attack. Uh, not a kill move you see too often from Sora, because, uh, you know, we see things like this. But dash attack, pretty strong from Sora. And, you know, Zane already getting some good juggles right now. 69% uh, on Dill. Getting the freeze off. No, it's Sora. I always call them by, like, by their mains, but okay. Zane is out here really racking up a good percentage amount on Dill using those uh, Sora's coveted uh, nares and uh, fares. And of course, that up B, if it, who, it, had they aimed it, I think that they would have been able to up B Dill out into a blast zone. Yeah, no, Zane's been doing a great yeah. job of uh, you know, getting those nair loops so far. Which, I mean, you come. know, Rob's, Rob's a big body, so. You know, getting that started is uh, so is pretty good. I really like what Zane did there w uh, with the gyro. Uh, they they countered the gyro, which is a really weird thing about Sora's counter is it doesn't affect the movement of a projectile, but it does change the owner. Oh, catching the very last Dundaga, taking Dill's second stock. Both All players right. pretty much stand neutral. Both players try, really, really trying to see who's going to approach first, coming in, out, in, out. But of course, it will be Dill who is back with the first amount of damage on on on, uh, on Zane. Yeah, Zane uh, almost had an opening there. Uh, I don't know if Dill realized that her gyro was on the top platform and kind of did that weird whiff animation. But right now, Zane's stuck at the ledge. Uh, I think they have no jump, uh, but the Sonic Blade, we're getting them back to the ledge. And this might be an oof. Yeah, right now Zane has just not been able to get anything started. Oop, all right. Just kidding. Lupin. Lupin the third. A few nares into a little bit of a... Oh, oh yeah. Read that Reading roll, that roll. In a year in advance. I think it was Lily charged up a little bit. Like, she was waiting. She was like, yep, you're going to roll, and I'm going to get you. Dill knew that roll-in was coming before Sora was even announced. <laughs> There's no way. This is true though. She was just waiting. Amazing, like showcase of patience on the on uh, on Dill's part. It was just no. You're. Oh yeah, she charged that. Yeah. She was like, watch this. But I mean, you know, that covered a lot. It covered um, because the gyro covered tech in. Mm -hmm. So Zane's only real option was to tech outward, towards the the blast zone. So, uh, but it looks like they are gonna be sticking with the Sora. And of course, Rob as well. Can I say, I don't like Sora's Kingdom Hearts 3 render. Because he's doing the, like, clearly you don't own an air fryer face. Oh, uh, <laughs> I've never. Uh, so, <laughs> having played Kingdom Hearts, I have no idea. But I don't like this costume because of the print. I don't like it. I just think it's so. But the, the Sora looking directly at the player is so unnerving. I absolutely hate it. Even though Rob's is so much worse. 
All right, well, let's see if Zane can make me like this costume a little bit more. Uh, already shown out a little bit of a percent lead. Uh, got the gyro in hand, but not going to be able to do too much with it. Looks like right now Zane is looking for those uh, neutral air starters into the loops, uh, which, I mean, they've been doing a great job so far when they can get that hit, but it's getting the hit that has been the problem so far. Uh, yeah, it does mean they able to read those recently and just knowing to shield them whenever uh, she sees that Zane's about to come in with those, a few nares. But, it might, ooh, interesting in Blizzaga. Right. Uh, Sora up air is so strong. Oh, that laser was actually super unfortunate. Uh, wasn't able to get past the battlefield lip, but, um, ooh, okay. Wasn't able to convert into a stock there. No, not at all. Do but, off the stage right now, and at really high percentage, really easy for Sora to kill. <laughs> Fire, 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 fireball, fireball. That's why that move is so good. Like, it, it, like kill. it just keeps throwing it out and it costs nothing. It, it does nothing. And I mean, it's actually great because, you know, we've talked about before the Dill Classic of, you know, hover below ledge and then double jump hitbox. Mm -hmm. But if Zane can just keep throwing fireballs, then, you know, if Dill does the Dill Classic, then, you know, she's going to get hit for it. I think uh, Zane was uh, looking for the uh, counter reflector. Oh. A little bit invincibly from the ledge get up, and also able to do a few narrow loops and get, get up a lot of percent on Bill, keeping her up, up to almost to 100%. And really just making sure he stays in, uh, that Sora is able to stay in the center stage. Yeah, no, this is, I think this is a, a different uh, Zane than we've been seeing in uh, game one. Already almost lapping, uh, lapping percentages. Ooh, up air, Ooh, not gonna no, be doing it quite yet. yet. Not from below the ledge. Even um, though Sora is light, it was not is not gonna be enough to really get uh, Sora off into the, his first stock being gone. But again, Zane keeping up with those three stocks. Oh, this might be it. Yep. You could see Zane mashing in the the, the player cam. <laughs> back throw. Uh, back throw could potentially do it at ledge, but certainly not from center stage. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, you actually saw uh, Zane was trying to quickly cycle through their spells uh, to try and get that uh, Faraga situation set up again. Ooh, a lot, of, a lot of just uh, just horrifying setups from Dill. I think she's trying to psych uh, them out with all all of Rob's uh, nares and his um and Rob's um nares and fairs. Oh, I don't know why I forgot about fair boy for a second. But yeah, she's really out here psyching him out. Ooh. Yeah, I think Zane was maybe a little bit hungry for the kill there. Uh, tried to two-frame with a dash stack, and instead is going to be losing their second stock before Dill does. Uh, huge momentum shift, but up smash going to be catching Dill landing on that platform. Last stock, uh, zero percentages. Just like last game, very close call. Could be anyone's game at this point. It, it, it first started off in a high advantage for Zane, but Dill was able to bring it back and make sure that she was able to have both of them be at one stock and, be, and have them you know, duke it out in neutral. And both of them keeping a little bit of distance, seeing who's going to approach first. Still trying to use that gyro to her advantage. All right, gets the, the Blizzaga, but not going to be able to get much out of it at that low percent. Still uh, not having any of these Faraga far shenanigans when she's got the laser online. Oh, got the landing fair, and this is... Should be a good situation for Zane right now. Oh, Ooh. Dill got the down tilt. Dill being very patient, trying to trying to recover with, with uh, Rob's recovery on the ledge, and really just coming a little bit aggressively for a second there, getting off a little bit of percentage on uh, on Zane. That was good by Zane there. Uh, Zane got down tilted uh, and Did actually she just hit by her own gyro. Uh, yeah, it's possible that Zane did yeah. the uh, the weird counter reflector thing again. Ooh, Zane has to be very careful here. Zane now offstage. I think I saw them use their double jump. All oh, right, they're not going to be taking it quite yet, but you know, I really think it's on Zane right now to get the kill. And yep, if that'll be they it. Man. Dill with uh, that massive comeback. Yeah, yeah, no, the momentum was absolutely in Zane's favor at the start. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's. If Zane 
like I said, if Zane can't take the stock, which I really feel like was kind of the the crux of, of this matchup, you know, Zane was getting some great damage, but just wasn't able to convert into those kills. I think most of the kills that we saw were from those sort of raw hits, like the Thundaga we just saw. Uh, we saw a uh, two-frame dash attack, but, you know, just wasn't able to get those, uh, like, landing fair nair confirms into, say, F smash. Yeah. There's definitely not, no, like, nair into up-E, com like, true combos or anything going on there. But e even so, uh... Zane has proven that they are a force reckoning when they're playing Sora, and Dill, of course, <laughs> Dill. Dill. As always. Rob is Rob. But right now... Rob do be Rob, though. Uh, Rob do be Rob, though. Let's see. But while we're waiting for our next match to start, and before we do a little bit of a caster swap, we do have... Uh, 